near me. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to talk about is eating habits. Um, eating will vary from pig to pig and feeding habit fluctuations are normal to a certain extent. <laughs> I find that, um, you know, depending on the seasons, my guinea pigs will eat more or less. And, um, yeah, um, but you do need to be aware that it can be a sign that something's wrong. So it's also normal for them to try and chew absolutely everything. Guinea pigs have open-rooted teeth, which means that they're constantly growing. So they do need to be provided with things to keep their teeth down. So the most important thing for guinea pigs to eat is hay. Now hay, <laughs> I've got a diet video on hay um, which explains a bit more about it basically. But it needs to be fresh long stranded hay, it needs to be quite thick or have quite thick strands um, to really crunch their back teeth down. Now, nothing else other than hay and grass grinds down their back teeth and if these become Lily. If these become overgrown, they can cause some real issues. Um, for their front teeth, you can provide them with chews, like wood chews. My guinea pigs especially love cardboard toilet roll chews rolls. <laughs> All these bits of hay came down on Lily. She seemed to um, pick up bits of things and carry them around with her in her lovely hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, their teeth are growing all the time, so they will have an urge to nibble absolutely everything. And now she's eating her poo, which is gross, but also normal, which I will talk about later, won't I? <laughs> so this does mean that you need to be a bit careful um, with your piggies and what they have access to. If you're giving them floor time, you need to be really careful that they don't have access to any exposed wires or that there's nothing um, by their cage that they can pull through and chew up um, because obviously wires would be very dangerous for them to chew through. So yes. Um, some piggies will chew on plastic houses, tunnels. Um, if they're partial to nibbling plastic, it's probably best to provide um, wood or cardboard toys and houses instead. Um, piggies aren't designed to digest plastic, so it's not a very good thing for them to have access to. So be a little bit careful, and if your piggies are a bit tricky, then wood, cardboard, anything like that is amazing for them because they can nibble it. It'll be fine for them to digest um, cardboard and paper and stuff just um, will break down in their system and just pass through it. Um, so, yeah. And it'll help to keep their teeth down. Perfect. Um, Piggy shouldn't struggle to eat. Um, when Snoopy had an abscess on his jaw, he really wanted to eat, but he was kind of picking up food and then dropping it because he couldn't chew. And this is a really, really bad sign. Um, equally, if they're refusing to eat, um, get them to the vet. Guinea pigs have really fast metabolisms and they need something passing through their systems all the time um, to prevent them from going into gastrointestinal stasis, which is what I mentioned earlier with Lily because um, she didn't have that hay. Her system, in my opinion, was beginning to shut down. Um, yeah, there were no poops in her cage, which is a bad sign. She wasn't provided with any hay. They really need hay and something to keep going through their systems all the time. If your piggy's not eating, you need to act really, really quickly. You need to take them to the vets, but in the meantime, you can always syringe feed them a powder feed high in fiber, like critical care. I believe Galen's Gardens also does one, um, and Supreme, I think, has got Supreme Recovery. Um, basically, just get something into their systems high in fiber. I've got a video on what to do if your guinea pig stops eating, which might help until you get them to the vets. But they must go to the vets. This is not instead of, this is until you can get them the vet treatment that they need. 